Even though you would think Athens, Georgia is full of churches and full of Christians because it's in the Bible Belt. A belt always has holes in it, and Athens is one of these holes in the Bible Belt. There's about 150,000 people in the greater Athens area, where less than 35% of the people adhere to any Christian belief. The fact of the matter is, the church is losing ground in Athens. St. Thomas is a young church here in the Athens area. We think that it's strategic to start new churches in college and university towns. These are cultural centers where the next generation of creatives and educators, they come here, then they go out all over the Southeast and really all over the world. Athens is where we met. There was a lot of great memories here. It was a good time in our lives. So we always had in the back of our minds, wouldn't it be great if there was an Anglican church in Athens? And we actually got here. It was kind of like coming home. It's a good place for us and a good space for us to be here and we love it. My wife and I had always kind of said, this is somewhere we'd love to see a church planted that we would want to help with. I love that it's not just a college church plant. Athens is a really vibrant city with a lot of young families, a lot of retirees, uh, and a lot of college students. I feel like this is a place where all those types of people can come and, and gather and worship together. It's a beautiful city. There's just a youthfulness here and an excitement to learn new things. I have no problem talking to people whatsoever, so I love talking to college <laughs> kids and asking them where they come from, why they're here. One of the really interesting things about Thomas' story is he's known as the doubter. But in the end, what he really needs and what happens is he encounters the risen Jesus. And at that point, he's filled with faith and goes out as one of the greatest missionaries the church has known. And so St. Thomas is a place for skeptics and saints and really everyone in between, even if you're a little bit of both. The church that I had been to previously was very oppressive to women and it was very anti-intellectual. As a woman in academia, that just turned me off. St. Thomas has redeemed that for me. The Anglican Church kind of offers a unique take on Christian living that really embodies intellect. I think there's a culture that has been cultivated that tradition has been thrown out. It's something that people, and especially people in their 20s, really kind of strive for. It's been around for a long time, but I think it's exciting to people to want to know more of why we say the Apostles' Creed, why we do communion every week. We are part of the Anglican Church in North America. This church is united, it's orthodox, and it's growing. It's an exciting thing to be a part of. The way we worship, the, the history, the rootedness of the Anglican tradition, um, hopefully will call people away to something better, which is new life in Christ. I think we're just really excited mm -hmm. about what God's doing here right now. We love Athens. It's such a cool town. I just love that we're planting this church here and excited to see who all the Lord's going to bring. To see it really grow and just to see more and more people come each week has really been awesome. I'm excited about the fact that there are a lot of people in Athens who maybe they used to have faith and for whatever reason they've fallen away from that. I'm excited to see some folks like that come back and find a place not just to, to come and, and go to church, but really find a place that they can have a mature adult faith and live that out and even pass it on to their kids.